Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Saria and this is Beauty in All Places. From the title, I know you guys are here because we are going to be talking about boundaries. I know it's a holiday season and even when it's not the holidays, especially when it's not the holidays, all year rounds we should be setting and maintaining our boundaries because boundaries are healthy and they really help us to teach people how to treat us. Boundaries are our safe space. It establishes modes of operation and behavior and it teaches people what we'll accept and what we won't accept from them as well as what we will give or not give to others. PsychCentral.com says this about boundaries. Boundaries are a way for us to take care of ourselves. When you understand how to set and maintain healthy boundaries, you can avoid feelings of resentment, disappointment, and anger that builds up when limits have been pushed. A person with healthy boundaries understand that making their expectations clear helps in two ways. It establishes what behaviors you will accept from others and it establishes what behaviors others can expect from you. If you have healthy boundaries, you might share personal information appropriately, not too much and not too little. You understand your personal needs and wants and you know how to communicate them. You value your own opinion and you accept when others say no. I'm going to go straight into it because I know a lot of us dread being around family members for many reasons. A lot of it is because they make us uncomfortable and we're placed in cringeworthy situations where we kind of expect a little bit more from our family and our friends and our loved ones and we just don't get it. Oftentimes family members taunt us with questions, especially around the dinner table where everyone can see and hear us in our discomfort. But a very strict way of cutting that off is turning that question right back to them. For example, one of the most cringe-worthy, assault-like, age-old question that a lot of us young women get when we go home for the holidays or even throughout the year. I know a lot of millennials or even the Gen Zers, the younger ones, get these questions a lot. It's the age-old question of, when are you going to have kids? You're not gonna have kids yet, I want grandchildren. When are you going to have kids? A good strict way to cut this off is by saying, are you capable of affording the lifestyle that I want for my children? The governesses, the tutors, the lesson, martial arts, language lessons, swimming, violin, piano. Can you afford the world traveling? Do you have money for the teachers and the professionals that are going to be grooming my children? to be a part of the opulent side of society? Do you have that kind of money? Have you raised a healthy human being that you have not unnecessarily inflicted trauma and pain upon because you refuse to be kind and caring, thoughtful and considerate of it? Hmm. In that case, please shut up and do not ask me anything that concerns my womb. Thank you very much. I mean, you don't have to go that hard, but depending on who the person is, I will choose to respond or choose not to even respond to that because it's so invasive and it really does not concern anyone because a child is a great responsibility. Like I'm not going to continue to perpetuate children being born without the support of their fathers. I'm not going to continue to perpetuate this kind of I can do it all by myself because I cannot and most importantly I do not want to. I would love to have a family, a man, a woman and some children. That is what I see a family as. Children need both their parents and that's just what it is. I would follow that up with I had a lack of mentality growing up because you guys did not have shit in your bodies and I had to work through a lot to get to a more prosperous, healthy, positive, and kind mindset. So I've seen what I needed to see here and I don't feel like eating here no more. And I, I go hard like that because 
sometimes you have to match the energy of the room and you cannot be timid in these kind of situations and circumstances especially when it regards your family they know how to press your buttons and you have to press their buttons back to let them know hey i've got a grenade as well and you just need to to go easy a little so getting a little bit lighter in the spirit of the holidays let's out the fires with a more positive outlook sticking with your values and maintaining your inner peace don't allow others to push your boundaries without repercussions in order to maintain your boundaries you have to let others know that their behavior has consequences personally speaking maintaining my boundaries mean disengaging from anybody who does not respect them and it's just that easy for me i do not negate or negotiate my boundaries with people it is what it is and if you cannot accept it i do not engage with you at all now this is an example of what i mean for example you tell a family member i do not like this please don't do this to me i do not respond well when you do this a wise person who cares about you will evaluate their behavior Behavior and will quickly say I'm sorry I didn't know that this hurt you so much I'm really sorry I won't do it again the foolish person will try to convince you that you're too sensitive and you need to grow a thick skin and whatever they need to say to defend themselves and their behaviors the thing with those people is don't stick me with a needle and then tell me to grow a thick skin are you serious really no we do not do that. We disengage completely. We're not going to argue. We're not going to convince anyone of anything. We just disengage. The thing is, the world is tough as it is out there where you have to have a thick skin. But in your family, you should be able to be vulnerable and at ease and to have your boundaries be respected and for you to be accepted for who you are and where you are currently in your life. If you can't have that, what's the point? And is that really family if it doesn't feel like family? Respect yourself. People who care about you are quick to apologize and they follow that up with the behavior in alignment with that apology. And in good faith, people who care about you respect your no's and your please stops. They never negate your requests. So I normally just disengage from foolish people. It's just that simple for me. And you'll hear me say that a lot during this video. Disengage. Your mental health is way more important than anything. Your ease and your comfort and your well-being is just it is life, really. And if you cannot feel at ease and feel comfortable around someone, it makes no sense to try to make it work. If it's not working, it's just not. So I say stay away from people who cause you to be triggered and those who do not respect your words. If you have to be defending yourself constantly, it's too exhausting. Disengage. Life is exhausting as it is as an adult. From the chores, the bills, adulting, who has time to be defending themselves? I normally disengage from all foolish people. If you feel like you have to constantly be defending yourself, those are not the kind of people that you want to be around and that is not good for your mental health. People who truly care about you respect and honor your words, especially when you give them no reason to not. People who love and care for you, they are never seeking for cracks in your story or even creating or putting them there. They value your time and are always giving you the benefit of the doubt. And they are always accepting of where you are currently in your life. They are never judgmental or doting on your minute 
mistakes. Now people are going to want to bring you back to your former self during this time and just in general they like to do that. It's okay, don't take it personal. It's only because they have not evolved to their greater self and it's okay. There should be no need to convince them of anything. If it doesn't feel right, feel it is okay to disengage. Feel okay to disengage from anyone that does not make you feel good and empowered and and present in your current self-identity. Sometimes people just don't know their place in your life, you know? A lot of people want to be advisors and critics when you really just need support and love. Just disengage from the critics, especially when they are no expert in your passions, dreams, or expertise, and especially when they themselves have not made it yet. This is your time. Regard yourself. You are a living, breathing human being with a mind, a body, and a soul. Consciousness is flowing through you just like the rest of us. Value yourself and your mental well-being and do not let any man, woman, or child walk all over you. There is only one you and you are precious and you deserve love and care and empathy and compassion and kindness. You deserve to communicate well with your loved ones and others and you deserve the opportunity to be understood and the love that feels like a million. If you're headed in an unhealthy situation for the sake of the holidays, stop yourself and ask yourself, why am I doing this to myself? Really, ask yourself and move according to the answer that you get because you deserve better than that and you deserve to be surrounded by beautiful, wonderful people. And quite frankly, no one is perfect, but some people try harder than others. And personally speaking, I deserve the best and I deserve to be around the best of people. I do. So I hope that helps when you're dealing with the holiday spirits and the holidays, being around people, trying to maintain your boundaries. And I just want you guys to know that your happiness is the best gift you can give yourself and others. So be kind to yourself by putting yourself only in healthy situations. That's going to make you feel good, make you feel valued and enriched and happier and more elated than you've ever been. I know disengaging can be isolating both for you and for the person who you are disengaging from, but if it's going to cause you to be better off because of it, choose yourself and choose to disengage because your mental health is very important, especially here in the Americas, okay? especially here in the U.S. of A. Choose yourself always and choose having a healthy relationship with yourself because if you don't set those boundaries and set that healthy relationship with yourself, no one else will. So choose yourself always. So happy holidays and have a wonderful time with the ones you love and with the ones who love you. Ta-ta!